All right, everyone, here we are with ticker symbol PLTR. And before we jump into this chart, I want to say welcome to all the first time viewers and investors. Welcome to the channel. Invest for tomorrow to all the subscribers. Welcome back. And let's jump into this chart. So PLTR has actually been in a downward direction fighting to come back up. We're now in bearish territory, but it's been slightly moving in a sideways direction. You can kind of see it hanging out in a channel here. We go ahead and draw two lines in that direction. You can kind of see that it is moving in that same area. It's not going too much more down, not breaking too much more up. And the highs were close to $31. So the peak was up here. So very important to keep that in mind and watch very closely. But let's go ahead and see here what our chart is showing us based off of the last couple hours of the day. The lowest points and the highest points here based off our resistance and support and then also see our 50-day moving average the 50-day moving average is pretty important so 50-day moving average is 26.88 i'd write that down super important for the bulls to break through that yes resistance is important but we're in bearish territory right now so more important is the 50-day moving average but we get before getting there they have to break through resistance so we're going to talk about all of that in just a moment. If 50 day moving average is broken through, the next resistance point would be up here at 2746, right? We got 2688 and we got 2746. Very important to start pulling away deeper into bullish territory. But let's jump into our support here and then we're going to talk about resistance. If this support is broken through, I want to emphasize to all investors, pay close attention to how the stock is reacting, how quickly is it moving to newer lows, and we have another support level to look at the behavior of the stock and how it's reacting. But first, 2552 is our support level. If it gets broken through, pay very close attention to the behavior of the stock and are the bulls trying to reappear. Now, if this is significantly going lower, we do have the support level here of 2510 and 2510 is one of the lowest points reached in this downward sideways movement, right? So 2510 is very, very important coming up after 2552. But before worrying about 2510, we're going to pay close attention to 2552. How quickly is it moving towards it? How quickly does it break through it? And are the bulls trying to reappear and bring this one back up? So we want to watch that very carefully how it's reacting and how quickly is it moving to newer lows. Now we're currently at 2629 and on the other spectrum of things, as we discussed about the resistance up here, the 50 day moving average, the first step to get to any of those numbers is breaking through resistance and that's 2654. I want every single investor to be aware of the fact that breaking through 2654 does not signify or guarantee that the bulls are going to break through the 50 day moving average and end up back in bullish territory. Very, very important to keep that in mind. This is just the beginning step to build momentum and build that catalyst to work its way up to newer highs, new resistance levels and deeper into bullish territory. But the first step that they need to take is breaking through this resistance but they're still in bearish territory until they cross the 50 day moving average and get deeper into bullish territory. So the first step is 2654 doesn't guarantee that they're going into bullish territory, but the momentum is continuing, turning it into a support. The bulls can pull away and reach closer to their goal, which is breaking the 50 day moving average to then reach newer highs and new resistance levels into bullish territory. As always, if you found this video helpful and informative, please do so and subscribe. Don't forget to click on the bell to turn on all notifications, not miss a single video that I post, share this with your friends and community, and don't forget to hit the like button to let me know you watched this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and let's make some money. At the end of this video, there's going to be a pop-up video. And in that video, I will be discussing about the S&P 500 index and how it's been rising several points 
on schedule dates. As you see here on the graph, these circles are the dates that the pumps have happened and I use them as examples to show you guys how much the stocks have risen and the S&P 500 index rose on those dates. And the reason why it's rising is due to the fact that the Federal Reserve is pumping the markets. On these dates, the charts and the dates speak for themselves as we can see it here. And I break it down into more detail in the video. But just to summarize it, on these dates, the S&P 500 rises and there's individual ticker symbols rising up with it anywhere from 30 cents to three dollars per share i know it may not seem like a lot but per share that does add up and these individual ticker symbols are giving you back profits these are profits and like i always say profits are profits whether it's a dollar put into the market and you get back two dollars you've put in an initial investment and you got back more than what you started with that's what it's all about and also in the video i go into further detail showing you guys these dates and showing you how much it rose. Like for example, this was one of the last pump dates and the lowest point that it reached was down here at 3511 and the highest point reach was 3557. That's like a 40 point jump. And here we're seeing the same thing. It went down to 3588 and it rose up to about, I'd say, let's see, this is all still in the same day. It rose up to about a total amount of 36.23 when you do the math that's almost a 40 to 50 point jump and there's individual ticker symbols rising up with this now i'm not there to guarantee you profits i'm not there to tell you to buy sell or hold anything in particular i'm just here to inform every single investor on the great news on the opportunity to maximize profits and minimize losses you have to do your due diligence and research but these charts and the dates speak for themselves i mean this was probably one of the largest jumps that i've seen in the last couple of pumps and it was down here at 3302 and it rose up to about 3388 that was an 80 point jump there was probably ticker symbols rising up more than three dollars per share on those dates and even on these dates there's individual ticker symbols rising more than three dollars per share check it out see for yourselves and my best advice is look for ticker symbols that may be resembling the behavior of the S&P 500 index and you'll be able to go ahead and give it a shot. Check it out again. I'm not there to tell you to buy, sell or hold anything in particular. I'm not there to guarantee you profits. I'm just here to go ahead and share the information along with every single viewer and investor. The video should be popping up soon. If you haven't seen it already pop up, there is the link down below in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching and let's make some money.